Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to tell you about the source of nutrition for the enamel forming cells that is the ameloblasts or the inner enamel epithelial cells before they are differentiated. So the source of nutrition can be divided into three main sources. The first one is the initial source of nutrition that is the source before the layer of hard tissue is formed, the transitional source the source just after the heart tissue is formed and the final source of nutrition that is the source from which the ameloblast derives its nutrition for the entire life after the heart tissue is formed. Before the dentine formation begins, the initial source of nutrition for the ameloblasts or the inner enamel epithelial cells is from the blood vessels of the dental papilla as they are closest to the ameloblasts and the nutrition can be easily derived across the basement membrane. Here you can see the enamel organ that is surrounded by the dental sac and in its concavity it contains the dental papilla. The pointer indicates towards the ameloblast cells. Here you can see the ameloblast cells deriving their nutrition from the dental papillary blood vessels. Transitional source is a temporary source of nutrition which is seen Immediately after the first layer of dentine is formed, at this time the nutrition source from the dental papilla is cut off and the dental sac is far from the ameloblast to derive any nutrition. So during this time, the ameloblast derive their nutrition from the enamel organ, from the glycosaminoglycans which is present in the intercellular space between the stellate reticulum cells. They are also secreted by the stellate reticulum cells. Glycosaminoglycans are also known as the mucopolysaccharides and upon their consumption by the ameloblasts, the enamel organ collapses. The dental papillary cells differentiate into odontoblasts which secrete dentine and this dentine cuts the nutrition supply to the ameloblasts. Here you can see the ameloblasts driving their nutrition from glycosaminoglycans secreted by stellate reticulum cells and the consumption of which leads to collapse of enamel organ. Compared to glycosaminoglycans, which is a temporary source of nutrition, the final source of nutrition is permanent after the heart tissue formation starts. After the consumption of glycosaminoglycans, the enamel organ collapses and along with the collapsing enamel organ, the dental sac also comes in close proximity to the ameloblasts. So the ameloblasts can finally drive their nutrition from the blood vessels of the dental sac and this source of nutrition is for the lifetime of the ameloblasts. As the enamel organ collapses, the dental sac vessels come in close proximity to ameloblasts from where the further nutrition is derived. Now let's see a few questions related to this video. The first question, what is the initial source of nutrition for the ameloblast? Question 2, what is the immediate source of nutrition after the heart tissue formation begins? Question 3, what is the source of nutrition after the heart tissue formation starts? Question 4, which is the major source of nutrition for the ameloblasts? And question 5, what is the temporary or the transitional source of nutrition for the ameloblasts? You can try and answer these questions in the comment section. That's all friends. If you find this video helpful, please like, comment and share and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.